So this latest chapter of Record of Ragnarok is finally here. And with this chapter 54, we are able to see how the main focus of this chapter is trying to find order of the Record of Ragnarok tournament. Because since Buddha decided to do his heel turn and turn his back against the gods and decide to join the humanity side, everything became haywire. So they're just trying to find the order and the correct rotations and matches that they need to do so they can gain back and track on what's going on and since that is going on in this chapter we're able to see how everything concluded from the battle between buddha versus hajin and seeing what will happen to buddha and how he's able to handle his injuries because buddha got heavenly bruise in this chapter and not only that but the last piece that who is going to be fighting in the next round and who is the added fighter that's going to fix the rotation of the record of Ragnarok. So if you guys do like more content of Record of Ragnarok by the Monotone Man, please hit the like and subscribe button for more of these content. But now let's begin the beginning of the chapter while we see that the humanity sides are cheering because they actually were able to win the fight. And then we see that in the God sides as well, that they are mostly surprised at how powerful Buddha was because Buddha had fought like at least two rounds and throughout the whole fight, Buddha was very damaged and injured. He only has one eye, he's losing a lot of blood and this man is standing tall. So while Buddha is standing tall and raising his fist up in victory, we see that everyone is praying and pretty much having memorial service for Zero because Zero is officially gone. So while Buddha is walking towards in the arena, he met up with Berhilda and we see that Buddha was able to collapse because due to the amount of blood loss and due to the amount of injuries that he was receiving throughout the whole fight. And then so we see that the whole medical team is able to try to recover Buddha from his injuries, trying to heal him and try to go as quickly as possible because just based on the details of Buddha's injuries and just seeing all the blood, the bruises, just everything is real, real interesting. And it's real fascinating to showcase that like Buddha actually went into a huge fight. And this is something that you have to appreciate with Record of Ragnarok because most of these fights that we see throughout mangas, you don't really see the whole details of the injuries. And with Buddha's injuries, it was just like this man went through a lot of hell. So I just really appreciate the fact that we're able to see the consistency of his injuries and the amount of details of the wounds and the bruises. So while Buddha, he is being on the stretcher, he's trying to make light and jokes with Hilda because Brahilda is like, thank you for assisting me. Thank you because you were a lot of help. And we see that Buddha's just like, thanks, no problem, I got you. And then so while Buddha is being in the recovery room, he's trying to split game for a second, but then his injuries caught up with him where he's cough out blood. And then we see that he's in the recovery room being recovered and the doors are closed. So we get cut off to the next scene while Bilzeba is actually burning all of the evidence of his involvement with Hajin and all the paperwork because his experiment has failed and his experiments has been destroyed. So Odin appears and he's just like, all right, I caught you. I knew it was you. You're the one who got involved in this whole mess in this home torn role of Buddha versus Hajin. And he was just like, I won't stand it. And we see that Beelzebub is actually just ignoring Odin and he just continues to just throwing all of his evidence, his research into the fire. So that way he don't get in trouble and he knows that his research was a failure. So while that's going on, Odin's crows and birds, they decide to insult Beelzebub because Beelzebub is not responding. They kept saying that you're creepy, you're a fly boy, F you, F this, F that. And so while they're just cursing out Beelzebub, we see that Odin, he's telling Beelzebub like, hey, I've been preparing for this tournament for a long time. I'm not letting anyone disturb the whole rotation and the flow of this tournament. And we see Beelzebub, Beelzebub did not care at all. He decided to insult Odin and he was just like, oh, okay, you've been waiting for this long time. He was like, mm hmm, whatever. And we see Odin is literally just pissed off because he does not like the response that Beelzebub has gave him. And that kind of questions what's Odin's method of the record of Ragnarok. What is he really planning? What is his whole end game of the record of Ragnarok? 
So next thing you know, we get cut off and we see Zeus and the rest of the other Greek gods. So while we're focusing on the rest of the gods, they are having a discussion and we see that Zeus is pissed off because he starts to throw his big muscle thighs to the ground because they are tied three to three and they can't afford another loss because they want to be ahead of humanity. They don't want to have a tie with humanity. So they're trying to figure out who's going to take the roster spot of Buddha. And we see that the other gods, they are pretty upset because of the fight that Buddha and Zero should not have counted. But since it's counted, now it's three to three. So while they're trying to look for the next opponent who's trying to take the place of Buddha, everyone is looking and Ares thought that this was his chance to say like, hey, I'm going to join the fight. I'm going to take the roster spot. But Hades decides to cut him off and says, I am going to join. And everyone's in shock. Everyone was just like, wait, what? You want to join the record of Ragnarok fight? And then so while we see that Poseidon, I mean, Hades, he decides to grab his eye patch and destroy it and stated that this is revenge for my dear brother Poseidon. And that's the end of the chapter. So you see the respect that Hades had for Poseidon and he took his death personal and he wants to represent his brother by winning this next round. And this is just real crazy because the sense this man has an eye patch and he decides to destroy it, you could tell that Hades is going to be very powerful because most anime characters who have eye patches and once they lift that bitch, they have all the powers in the world. Like Kenpachi from Bleach, Gojo, you know, Chainsaw Man, and actually the dude who's from Full Metal Alchemist, his sin was Rage. Like when they take that eye patch, you know things are about to go down real bad, the eye patch game. So the fact that Hades were able enough to take out his eye patch, this is gonna be a very serious fight. But other than that, let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter. This chapter was really good. And if you guys do like the video, please give it a like, subscribe. This is Monoto Man. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Always be decent and be safe.